Okay, so we haven't done a vlog in a while. I uh, just thought I'd do an update. There's been some additions to the store, some new product. There's some inventory coming in. Um, yeah, the vacuum demo area looks pretty much the same. And we've got some embroidery designs in now. Temporarily, we've kind of put up this display here just to set them up. And we're actually going to cut a hole in the wall right there. That's why there's like a square in that area. Uh, Marsha, the in-store sewing instructor who's been organizing everything as far as the instructors and getting classes going, has kind of been working out of this room now. So this is like the office. Those are all of her charts tracking customers and classes. Who's taking what? Who wants to take what other classes? We've got five different instructors teaching now. But yeah, I'm going to cut a hole right there so she can have a straight shot. She can see right out into the store. And of course, we've got some uh, stress pads for the big machine now. We've been renting it out. We've certified about a dozen people now on this machine and how to use it. Uh, so it's good times. Um, in fact, they were just doing some quilting today on it. And you've probably seen some of the pictures of people um, getting certified on the page, um, on the Facebook page, on our Twitter feed, on the YouTube channel. Um, this will be up on the YouTube channel as well. But, um, yeah, this cutting table is a good piece. We just added this. Uh, this is a unique sewing furniture piece. <clears throat> These guys actually make sewing furniture right here in Cheyenne. Uh, so we're pretty excited about that. They've been really cool with working with us as a new business. Um, and uh, it's a large table. It's pretty big. comes with this cutting mat, actually, too. And the drawers are extra long. Um, so you can put a whole bolt of fabric in here, which we did. Some of our demo muslin went ahead and threw that in there with the meter stick. So it's nice. Caster wheels are nice. The hinges are nice. And these drawers come out the other side too, so for a sewing room where you're working on the other side, you can go ahead, come over here, pull a drawer out of that side as well. Yeah. Sewing classroom's been busy. Um, we've been doing some different things. You've probably seen some pictures. Uh, this is the machine demo area. We actually sold this cabinet here. This will be going away. This is a tailor-made piece. Um, this piece of furniture over here is still the horn. We still have a horn piece on our floor. Uh, we've upgraded now to the 780 as far as our top of the line piece on Bernina. Uh, maybe I did that in a video before. I don't know. And of course the tiara, our sit down quilting machine. So yeah, some good equipment. Um, yeah, and the, uh, the Sweet 16 has been a good piece. Um, we've had a lot of customers interested in that. A couple people own that piece now. Um, this is the vacuum demo area, of course, up front. I'm going to change this up to where the Mila product over there is actually over here. Uh, we need our more premium product up front as we've been moving more Mila product and more people are coming in for Mila product. I'd like it to be more at the front of the store. Um, and I'd hope within the near future, all this empty space up along the walls um, to add in shelving, take down posters, add in shelving to put product up on it um, and make better use of the vertical space in the store, uh, in the shop area as well. And a good update on the shop area, actually, a buddy of mine out here that lives in Cheyenne actually helped us. Um, install this monitor and uh, he also brought in a rebuilt tower, a computer tower um, into the shop so now uh, we can go ahead and access our point of sale system, repair system from the bench to look up customer repairs, bring up schematics, play training videos and we've already utilized this. We actually just put this up the other day and utilized it for a couple of repairs on some Dyson vacuums where we had to watch some training videos got those repairs out the door so it's a good deal um, yeah, but in here, I'd also like to mount shelving uh, to store parts cross through in here, um, get rid of these metal shelves and actually get shelving that goes all the way across the wall. That'll help. Uh, same thing with this hallway too. Probably utilize this space up in here. And in the back room, we've accumulated a lot in here. A lot of used machinery. Uh, just junk starting to accumulate back here so I need to get shelves up in here to get it organized 
we'll just go right into the cinder block wall. Um, it's hard to see, but I have a lot of boxes from sewing machine inventory over behind this door. And so that'll be nice. So yeah, anyway, I just wanted to give a quick update. Haven't done a vlog in a while for the shop. And uh, a lot of customers are coming in and saying, wow, you know, this is a lot different from before. And it's always changing. And I'd hope that within the next few months, it'll change even more. Yeah, thanks.